What's up guys, Escudo52 and welcome back to another deck review. That's right, today we are reviewing the Soundboards V2 by Patrick Barnabas and Ripple Shuffle. Now as always guys, make sure you like, you subscribe, you comment down below and let's get into it. So today we are featuring the V2 soundboards by Patrick Varnavas and Riffle Shuffle. So those of you who remember, Patrick Varnavas released this in, well he created in 2014 and it came into fruition in 2015. The original design was blue, but uh, the V2s have updated. The red was always teased, but it's now finally happened thanks to Riffle Shuffle. Now the top case is probably one of the most interesting thing on this deck of cards. Now you know I love very interesting top cases, but this is probably one of the best ones up there. So it's made to look like an old school stereo, sort of like cassette player. So you've got the jokers on the inside, which are the cassette and this glass, well, it's plastic window, so you can see into it. We've got the word stereo and poker size playing cards down the side the front here. And it has this very old sort of retro 90s feel to it. Maybe even late, like late 80s, early 90s. Got the word soundboards here. We've got a volume button and a headphone jack, play buttons, fast forward and no pause uh, and then we also have some ad work on the bottom here just telling you about the cards now unlike normal playing cards they open like this so it pops that way and you slide the cards out now it is quite it is quite tight getting the cards out when you've got all of them in and the jokers but we'll give it a go such a cool design so the back design looks like this. Now it's very different to what is on, well I say very different, it's slightly different to what is on the back of the box. And I almost, I kind of like it more with the yellow in it. I think that would be awesome having that on the back, but nonetheless. So we have uh, two gramophones, we've got some turntables. It looks like the wheels of the cassette and there's loads of bunch of other things there. So basically it's uh, some mix index as well. So this is meant to represent the sort of audio equipment from the late 80s and 90s all mixed together in like one harmonious working order. And with this deck, you will get a blank card, a double backer, and you'll get two cassette jokers that are identical like this. Now the cards do come Um, in new deck order as you can see here uh, and there's not really much customization so the ace of spades is pretty much the only thing that's got a major customization going on here and we have got so the ace here we've got an upside down ace in the middle and we've got some musical notes on either side so we've got some quavers I think that is um, and what maybe it's like a clef not the best of music now the cards are printed this time on USPCC crush stock and they are quite thin actually and they feel super good. They spring really well, they dribble really well and let's just have a feel straight out of the box. Yeah, they fan quite well as well, as well as well, as well. So the pips don't really see any of the real changes, they look pretty much any similar to sort of your standard bikes. And the court cards pretty much are the same as standard bikes as well as you can see. They all pretty much look very similar and there's no colour difference. Different 
differentiation in that it's pretty much the same what i like about the jokers as well just going back to them very much looks like be kind rewind you know what i mean it's just like a really cool funky retro vibe going on on both the jokers and i like the fact they're identical So guys, now we've got all that bit out of the way, let's get into the review. So in terms of aesthetics, I think this is a um, pretty cool deck. It's a shame there's not a lot more customization, and like I said, it would have been really cool to see some yellow on the back of here, because I think that would just set it off. So I'm going to give that a 9 out of 13. In terms of handling, so the crushed premium stock on the USPCC cards, and they're like, these are like not so thin, but they're quite thin. Um, they just feel really good. And I can't remember, did I say handling in the back together? I think I said handling. So in terms of handling, I'm going to give these a 10 out of 13. In terms of durability, with USB-CC, you know that these are going to be a good deck of cards and they're going to feel great for a long time. So I'm going to, the only other thing that I could think that would probably hamper the durability is the tuck case. It's quite a squeeze getting it out. So I feel like potentially, um, there could be some breakage going on so that's why I'm going to give it a 10 out of 13 and in terms of practicality so like I've already said the tuck case is quite tight but one of the other things I don't know about you but for me I love having the cellophane wrapped around the bottom of the deck you know normally you peel it wraps around and you can slide like your ad cards or your gap cards into it I really love that feature but you can't do that with this deck unless you've got one of the limited edition ones so for every 12 cards that was bought by one backer Oh, well, it's not Kickstarter, but do you know what I mean? By one one person buys 12 cards and they get an, uh, an ultra rare signed USPCC tuck box that had like your normal standard tuck. So you could do that with that, but unfortunately, with the normal one, you can't. You have to keep all of your gaff cards together or keep them separate in your pocket if you were using these to kick it. Um, I definitely think, although there's limited 2500, these could be a collector's deck as well as a, a everyday worker's deck and that's what I love about it. It does feel like a worker's deck and it feels like you could go out and perform with them quite easily. So for that matter, rejoining back to the review, I'm gonna give these uh, a 10 out of 13, which gives this an overall score off the top of my head. Some quick math coming out now, 39 out of 52. Okay guys, so I do hope you have enjoyed this review. If you have, please like this video, make sure you're subscribed, you comment down below. I'm just swaying so much, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just like talking and swaying. Um, and in the description box, check out my Instagram, I've got some banging pictures on there, some little videos, quite cool, and I'm always around to just chat and put up some funky stories. So guys, make sure you do all of that, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!